ABC Mouse, a journey to a brighter future. <coughs> it's just a cough. If you could see your cough, you'd see just how far it can spread. Robitussin DM Max soothes your throat and delivers fast, powerful cough relief. Robitussin DM Max, because it's never just a cough. We are back on a Saturday morning, and it is time to trend, shall we? Let's trend. All right, here's a story melting hearts everywhere. Josh McConnell, a police officer in Mississippi, took to Facebook to share how he was moved to tears when a little girl gave him her teddy bear for protection. The little girl, who the officer believed to be around three or four, and her mother approached him when he was out responding to a call earlier this week. She simply went up to the officer and handed him the bear and said it was to keep him safe. Now, the mother explained they have a law enforcement officer in their family, and the little girl always hears everyone tell him to be safe. So she just wanted to do the same thing for McConnell. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What is that sweet? Little sweet? Teddy bear. Yeah. So sweet. Oh, he yeah. was touched by that one for good, sure. Good yeah, to got see some, up. some yeah. love for the cops. Love yeah. that. Good yeah. to Absolutely. see that. Uh, let's get to this mom's Facebook post making the rounds on social media as well. In this post, there it is right there. This mother is asking Santa to give her, to give modest, smaller gifts. She had uh, given in the chest, just below the heart, once. Uh, put him to his knees. Uh, McGray was upset that the robbery was a botched robbery. But he also talks about the fact that when he'd met Gibbons, he didn't like him. And he knew he was going to do something to him, but he didn't know he was going to kill him. McGray leaves Gibbons to die and meets up with Norman Warren. They make their way back to the house, and um, it's all three of them. They stick by him and uh, not. She's saying it's over, right? This beautiful woman. But here's the thing, right? He realizes it was his wife. She was the woman. So then on the Facebook post, then turned into a love letter to his wife, saying that he saw her with new eyes and he just couldn't believe that he gets to be her fella. He later told today.com he didn't even know it was his wife when he was planning to, or he didn't know she was going to the store. So it was a genuine moment of, oh, that's a nice looking lady. Wait a minute, that's my wife. That is so it's sweet. It's like the I Pina Colada that. song. Come it to is life. There you go. Yeah, Pina Colada song, exactly. I think it's sweet. Love no, that. No, it's very sweet. Right? You're quiet. It's no, sweet. Well, I'm, I'm, yes, I'm it's being sweet. very quiet. Let's take a turn, shall we? <laughs> what are Paltrow's big plans for her infamous Oscar dress? One Direction playing Tattoo Roulette, Kristen? You're in pop star. Yeah. A lot of big headlines. Yes. That's right. Well, look, it is not like fans <laughs> needed another reason to love Bill Murray. However, they now have a big one thanks to Netflix and his holiday special, A Very Murray Christmas. Check it out. In the hour-long variety show, Murray sings, dances, drinks, and is joined by famous friends like Amy Poehler, Miley Cyrus, Chris Rock, and George Clooney, everyone's favorite, among others. It's already getting a lot of love online. Here's a little taste for you featuring Murray and Michael Sarah. Check it out. Billy, this sad excuse for a Christmas special, no harm intended. Oh, none taken. Starting to seem to me more like a Chris mess, as in what a mess. We have George Clooney. I rest my case. You saw Monuments Men? I was in it. Number what, seven on the call sheet? You were so good in that. You were great. You were very good. <laughs> Anything with Bill Murray is going to be great, right? Well, a very Murray Christmas is now streaming on Netflix. Well, next up, in a new interview with People Style Watch, Academy Award winner Gwyneth Paltrow reveals what she's done with all those gorgeous gowns of hers, in case you were wondering. Unlike most A-listers who send their Oscar dresses back to the designers, she's been holding on to them for her 11-year-old daughter, Apple. Oh. On the topic of her famous pink Ralph Lauren Oscar dress, Paltrow says she hopes Apple wears that one to her prom. Well. It is good to be Apple, that's for sure. Is Gwyneth adopting? That's the question. And finally, since taking over as host of The Late Show, The Late Late Show, James Corden has been known to come up with a clever game or two. So in case you missed it, Corden finagled the boys of One Direction to play, get this guy's tattoo roulette. Ever heard of that one? All right, well, here's how it works. Everyone grabbed a mystery box, 
four contained the word safe. The person whose box said tattoo had to get inked live Seriously? on the show. Seriously, I watched the clip. <laughs> Anxiety was at a hysterical high, as you can imagine. So, the big question, who lost? Well, that would be Harry Styles. Of course Harry lost. Who now <laughs> has the words late, late <laughs> oh, tattooed no. on his arms, thanks to Mr. Corden. My question for you, would any of you agree to that? No. So, now he's no. got four tattoos. I do have four. <laughs> So, You'll so never see this. No, no, I'm just no. kidding. So Cheryl has no tattoos. No. So no, now I tweet. can't believe that. I have you one ear piercing. Enough. Yeah, I have two. There yeah. you go. That was it. Thank tats? you, Chris. Hidden tattoo. Can't see it right now. Okay. You're <laughs> telling the truth. Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll, 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 we'll dig a little deeper today. during the commercial break. Right. I'll keep you posted. All right. Still ahead. Hot holiday travel deals and tips to make sure your trip goes off without a hitch. We'll be right back. But first, this is today on NBC. You do have tattoos. You could not. Oh.